So I like to start, remember we, when we made the pattern, this was our starting point. So I like to stitch this first and then we will fudge around, but this needs to be first. So um, we need to now go back to our dark, our darker brown, which in this case was charcoal. This is when it's critical to have that long, uh, very sturdy uh, needle. And I do like to use a thimble for this too, because you're gonna be going through two layers of your linen or Ada and two layers of wool. So I, you know, and it does get a little getting used to, but I do like to have that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is like I said, you we need to trim closer now, but I don't, I only like to trim a little bit because um, it'll start to unravel. So I wanna go from the back. So I wanna go from here to here first. So I'm gonna get my very sharp, don't have to be expensive, but very sharp, very pointed scissors and snip down. And I would say you're going for about a quarter inch um, to fold over. Move this out a little bit so you can see. And then you're gonna snip just to your stitching about a quarter inch away. And the reason you do that is because then you can fold it over. And if you're on any kind of a curve or a concave, you know, curving either direction, it can kind of fold over on itself. Now you want to snip a little ahead and a little bit behind where you're working so you got you don't get yourself in trouble not having enough room to fold things over and it's okay if there's a little blue showing that'll be covered my trick to this is paper clips i i know there's nicer um sewing notions I just don't have them and it's nice they're kind of like a um a third finger so you know paper clip it down once you kind of have it you know as good as it, it can get you can use your needle you know, to kind of help, you know, and then it's just a try, it's just kind of trial and error, you know, try out how much you want to, you know, secure it. I probably wouldn't do it that much to start off if it was just me doing it. Okay, right, so what you're going to do, we're going to whip stitch. So I'm going to put my needle in between those two pieces of felt, and then I'm going to come out almost to that edge but you know not quite and I'm going to lock my thread I'm going to get my thimble because it's kind of I just am used to using them all right make sure you can see and I can see all right so I'm not going to start real close to here I'm going to give myself like maybe a half an inch and if you see what I'm doing with the symbol, I'm pushing, I'm gonna push the needle through with my finger that has the thimble. And I'm going right underneath the last row of stitching from front to back. And I'm pinching with this finger. I'm going to, if I pull really tight, this is, I have two threads, sorry. I have two threads on this. Okay, go over a little bit more, go up a little bit more. Can you see what I'm doing? If I pull really tight, 
I don't want to pull really tight. I want to gently lay and kind of help the thread, those two threads spread out. And then on the, uh, then I'm holding it in place with this finger. So I'm going, I'm not pulling tight. So I'm laying it across and then I'm going to hold it in place with one of my fingers on the back. And then I'm going to go in, probably need to lay, do it with this finger. You, you got to remember that I have a video camera basically between my eyeballs too. And then I'm going to go in right next to the thread I just did. And then the object is to lay the next one. You're laying down these threads side by side. And that one was a little too far apart because I was giving a lot of directions. So I'm going to go back and put one in between those two. But see, when I, when I pull this, I can kind of help those two threads kind of spread out a little bit. Put my needle in close to the thread that I just did. Wrap around, hold it with a finger, and then go next to that thread. And if I think maybe it's too gappy, then I can come through again, and then the next time I can come up and fix it. in. I'm not pulling really tight. I'm just trying to stay very uniform in my spacing. And how far down I go. The backs are not going to be glorious. I'm not worried about what the backs look like. I just want to do the back However, I need to do the back so that the front looks nice and the top. So over, hold it in place with my finger and then go right next and then use my thimble if I need to, to pull it through. Over, hold it with a finger, use my thimble to push it through. Over, spread out that, spread it out, thimble. So, can you still see me? Okay. I just looked up to make sure that I was still recording because if I wasn't recording, I was going to be really sad. I'm still in frame. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and I might speed this up, but you can keep watching me do this part before we have to see, see right there. I, I wasn't as close as I like because I was talking. So if you do that, finish your stitch and then come around, make sure that stitch is close and then backtrack if you need to and then lay another one down. And see, I can kind of move this kind of where I think I need it to cover. Actually, I think I could do one more. Here too. Um, and then once I have it where I think I need it, then I can hold it down. And then I can, and then if you're really far away from where you need to go, you might need to just do a stitch or two to get back. You know, don't go too far without a stitch. Okay. Over. Over. 
you know, and then here, I probably will, I will, I kind of, some, I, you know, working ahead, I might stop and kind of make sure that um, I'm, you know, put things back. If my thread's starting to pop up, I kind of push it down again. I've thought about doing this with a uh, paper, but you, even on the when I've seen the finishes on with paper, perforated paper, whatever they call it, um, you need a little edge. Oops, I just pulled my thread out. You need a little edge to finish it, and these are designed to go right to the edge. So I'm not. I don't know if that would work or not. I mean, you definitely could forget the cookie cutter and finish them you know do them on the paper and then just finish them kind of the way that um oh what is it uh the bead paper i don't know okay so we're getting close now to the cook the um paper clip so i kind of want to move ahead one thing about this is you want to kind of pull out the edges of the paint see how they're kind of up so they don't get stuck in your in your fabric and then like I said I like to work ahead so I'm going to even though even though the brown stops there I need to work ahead and have this folded over before I stitch to that point I guess is what I'm saying so I need, I think I'll snip to there, and I need, like I said, like a quarter inch, and then I'm going to snip, 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 so I can tuck that all under. Can you see? Okay, and then see how because we stitched uh, a back stitch there, the th fabric knew where to fold. That's why we do that. Okay, and I'm going to use my littler paper clip to kind of get all that to stay where it's staying. And then we're going to tuck this in a little bit better. Right, so now I think we can, we can keep going. All right, so fold it over. And if you're, don't have, you know, the greatest hand strength, this might not be the best finish for you. God, I keep pulling my thread out. It does, it does take some dexterity and some hand strength. But, you know, I think the bunnies are awfully cute as pillows, too. So, the paper clips help greatly. Um, I just discovered that a while ago. I was trying to keep everything aligned just with um, my fingers. And then I was like, this is ridiculous. I think I saw someone using, I think there's some cute like um, quilting uh, clips that I'm sure people have. I'm kind of playing a little thread chicken here. I do not want to get another brown for such a little amount. Do you guys ever do this when you do thread chicken? Like you start stitching really, really fast. Like if you stitch fast, you'll have enough. I don't know why I do that. But I do. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm going to stitch really, really fast. 
okay, this is ridiculous. I'm not going to have enough. And I'm trying to do a tutorial. And I'm making it sloppy because I'm trying to... So we're going to just... Well, I can show you how to knot off and start again. That's a good thing to do. All right, so say... So I am done. So what you're going to do when you're when you're switching to a new thread is you're going to go over like you're going to come through. So can you see? But instead, so you're going to stick your needle in at that point, but then instead you're going to take it off somewhere else. I pulled it off and I didn't even... Man, I really am running out of thread. Okay. I might have enough to knot this off. I do. All right. All right, so how you start is opposite of what I just did. You um, lock it. And then you come through and then you come back up right like you were. Okay. And then I'm going to go back and clean this up a little bit because I was starting to get sloppy because I was talking. So see how there's some white flecks? I, you just have to then take this and go over and then hold it in that position with your finger until you think you know until you get rid of the flex and then just angle it back to where you should be okay so go over for my what four or five probably brown stitches um, before I go on make sure that Ahead is where I want it to be, you know, a good inch ahead. You kind of need to be thinking towards. I really hope you can see what I'm doing. If you're, if I, if you're there, go over, hold it with my finger, use my thimble to push it through. And I use thimbles all the time in fabric collage. And if you're not used to thimbles, they're a little weird feeling. You just have to experiment what finger you like to have them on. I like these silicon ones that have the metal tip. I think they're more comfortable. Um, okay, I like to do one more. So like I said, to, to anchor off, I'm going to go in like I'm going to go through to the front again, but instead I'm going to send it off a different direction. Make sure that last stitch has the same tension. 